I don't know how to say any of this in person, because I know I'll sound like that person, to put it generally. My one goal this entire time has been to always keep you close. And I'm aware of how creepy that sounds, but you know what I mean. And I'm genuinely afraid that whatever I say on certain issues that I know are one-sided will push you away further than I can reach you again. But for the very selfish sake of my own sanity, I think it's inevitably time to do this. We've told each other a lot about ourselves, our struggles, our stories, our lives. I think about it a lot. Not you specifically, but the experience as a whole. I ask myself quite a bit, why did I do it? Why did I do it when I knew I was going to screw it up? I know my stories are in good hands with you, and I can assure you yours are the same with me. But sometimes I question why I was so willing to give you everything after knowing you for only a fraction of my seemingly endless existence. We both are aware that I probably keep things a little too close to myself for anyone's good, especially my own, but I felt different sharing them with you. Like they weren't falling on deaf ears for once. I could go into so many more dramatics with that, but I won't. I would do literally anything to be with you again. And maybe that's because I, I'm, I'm desperate or horny or both. I've since realized that maybe the only restrictions I've been living by are the ones I place on myself. I would have opened up to the fullest, I think, had, had I known you wanted to in any sense. But I was never sure, so I kept backing up. Would it have been wrong just to ask? That last day, I was positive. I would have, but by that point, you were done with me. Even so, I knew the issues were deeper than that. Why do I feel the need to apologize? I have no idea what I did. If I knew, maybe I could. I wish you would tell me sometimes. It's the one thing I find myself getting slightly angry about. I wanted to know for a very long time, but now I don't find myself worrying about it too much. I feel like you must understand, because we have, and still continue to understand each other so well, but if you do, then you must just not feel the same, or feel anything that's worth saying. I'm not mad at you for that, of course, but people have been telling me how to feel about things all my life, and I would never do that to you. It just hurts really bad. I'm overthinking things less now. Something clicked, and I've been actually dealing with my problems. It seems that those who are close to me aren't exactly thrilled with my new perspectives on things that seem to appear in pointless conversations, but I'm really starting not to care. It's very freeing, strangely enough. I feel better than I have in a while, and maybe that's why this is just too much. I think, though I know, I owe that mostly to you. Oh god, all I want right now is you. I want those late night conversations and hours spent curled up in the blankets under the stars. I want to just look at you again. Unrestrictedly stare at you in a way you won't think is weird now if you happen to catch me. I want what we had before. That, that comfort, that contentment with life I'd feel in those perfect little moments. Maybe I'm being unrealistic. Maybe you never felt the same and I'm just waxing nonsense at this point. Maybe you're not about that anymore, and you just want to live your life drinking until early morning and getting invited on trips with beautiful people and doing lots of other interesting things. Every fiber of my being wishes I could be doing that with you, but I'll never be as good at life as you are. And even though I'm getting better with each day, I know that in some ways I've already screwed myself over. I guess that's how you learn, though, right? You lose what you want, and you just deal with it, and hope you're smart enough to know the next great opportunity when it's right under your nose. But out of all the ones I've missed, the one I regret the most is you. Damn it. <laughs>